Hello, today we're going to shoot this Kebmo Martin. This is a 2001. This is the way it came to us. All original, all factory, all stock. And um, it's going to get a lot of modifications in this setup. This has the original Schaller tuners on it that stick out considerable distance from the peg head. And our the stock height here. You can look at this from where you're at, hopefully and see how lacking down pressure on the nut we have with the tuner being very tall and only a few wraps on the string on the tuner post. Also the strings are deep sunk in the nut which is standard uh, with most guitars from the factory. This one has the bridge pin sticking way up which draw the string energy out of the guitar and all the way to the top of the bridge pin to move the bridge pin just by design factor that is another thing that's not optimum. Martin generally makes three different size bridges that when you measure in the center on the forward side they're either 320 thousandths, 340 thousandths, 360 thousandths, in a rare instance 380 thousandths. This particular one to my knowledge is a world record whopping 420 thousandths thick. The thickest one I've ever measured. In the process of doing the setup on this, this bridge is going to have some of this mass weight taken off. It's also pulling up right now in the rear corners. That's going to be corrected. We're going to do jumbo frets on this one. It's going to get the Waverly tuners on this one. It's going to wind up with the Stevie Ray Vaughn frets up to 15. It has a block and plates underneath the fingerboard here. They're going to come out. The back braces, number three and four, in the rear of the guitar being here and here are about a fourth or a third again taller than number one and number two. They're going to be taken down to the height of what the first two back braces are which will allow the back to move better. We're going to do side reinforcements front to back in alignment with the back braces on this one on both sides. Depending upon what the customer wants we can actually tone the guitar by what wood we use in the side reinforcements and what type of bridge pins we use. Uh, whether we want to go for a brighter tone, the same type of a tone, or a bassier tone. And anyway, I'll play you a little bit on this. This is a Keb Mo Martin. It's co back and sides. This guitar is Advanced X. It's a one and three quarter neck. It has all the makings to be a high performance guitar, except with the pickup in it, which is a under the saddle, it acts as a damper between the saddle and the bridge which is your main string transmit area. So if you want to play acoustic guitar, not plug-in guitar, a thin line pickup under the bridge or a Fishman, whichever, any saddle pickup is what you do not want to have. Anyway, we'll play a few chords on this and let you hear it. Here's a simple little tune called Bridget O'Malley. It has no B part, just two A's. So all you flat pickers out there in the key of G could, should be able to pick up on this very easy. Hello, this is the Keb Mo finished, and we'll play the very same tune for you, Bridget O'Malley. <laughs>
All right, we'll play a few chords on this where you can hear it in some different positions. <laughs> setup it has gotten better and better and better and is much better than what it was initially to start with anyway thank you for watching